Well, hello there. How are you? If you're new, my name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Are you guys trying to be creepy like Dennis Quaid? Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel if you are new. Like I said in my creepy first intro, my name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to be reviewing The Intruder. It never ever fails. Never. Nobody ever texts or calls me, but the moment that I'm filming, it's like everybody gets notification to call or to text me. That's hard. Hard to say goodbye. I keep hearing this creaking sound. Let's go ahead and get on with the review. All right, so The Intruder, it is rated PG-13. It is a drama mystery type of movie. It's an hour and 42 minutes long. It stars Dennis Quaid. It stars Megan Good. And it also stars one of my baby daddies, my core. It comes out May the 3rd. It's directed by Dion Taylor. I hope I got his name right. I, I think this is gonna be a spoiler type of, of review. This is gonna be reviews and spoilers, okay? It gave me the hand that rocked the cradle vibes. It gave me Disturbia vibes. Lee and Megan Good's character ends up buying Dennis Quaid's house. We saw that in the in the trailer. Um, and obviously he doesn't take it too well. This house has actually been in his family for generations. So he doesn't really quite want to let go of it. So the house is really nice. I personally would never want to live there because it's one of those type of houses that it's a murder way to happen. I don't do like houses that are like one and then my neighbor is like a mile down the road or two miles or ten. No, 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 no. I need my neighbors like right next door where like if I fart they're gonna hear me. Even Scott, uh, when they were going to the house first, she's all like, is there a, a house at the end of this road? Exactly, man. Exactly. That, that you should not be like there. So the story is pretty much like here throughout the whole thing. You may get like a little peek somewhere in there, but for the most part, it's just kind of like, like it's just dead. And then it kind of like goes, whoosh, and it comes back down, and then it goes here, and then you you kind of come up a little bit and then it's like that. Annie which is played by Megan Good. I don't know what the heck is wrong with her, you guys. She was very, very trustworthy of this man. The husband obviously didn't like him. He was very weird from the beginning, but he, you know, I get it. That was his house prior, but this is now your house, sweetie. So he cannot just be like coming around and just popping up whenever without like asking me like don't come into my house without like calling like no no i don't like uninvited visitors you call me and you tell me you're coming it's not like anybody come and visit me but just know he's around for a reason because we end up finding out later on in the movie which i didn't quite think that's what he was doing until like later i oh no lies i never actually thought that he was actually leaving basically underneath the house there's somewhere in there that he's able to come in and out from outside to come in without them knowing he's been in you know this house has been with him in generations so obviously he played around when he was little so he knows all the secret compartments like straight off the bat when he was showing them the house and he kind of did this kind of weird look when he was kind of closing the, the, the linen closet. Kind of like realized what he did. And he's like, oh, he opens it. This is where your linens are at. This is where it's going to be at. Closes it back up. But then like throughout the movie, they kind of referenced the linen closet a little too much. So I kind of like really suspected. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's where the secret compartment is basically from there he goes down and he's living underneath the house you guys like straight up living underneath the house which is why he, he's always popping up because he's technically living there he's sitting that he's gonna move to florida with his daughter i started wondering if this daughter actually existed him actually trying to move obviously it's a lie 
Um, they ended up finding out he had like financial problems. So it was basically a he had to sell the house to get the money to pay off his debt. They have it as a drama suspense movie. Honestly, I find it more like a fatal fatal attraction type of movie. Obviously, Charlie becomes obsessed with Annie. And like any fatal attraction movie, you gotta take out that problem, right? Which in this case would be Scott. I'm not gonna tell you who dies in here. Just know that I think in total is two, I think it's just two people that die and I'm not counting the wife because you know from the preview that the wife died but it's always a suspicion of that Charlie probably killed her somewhere around there which I found totally unnecessary and I was kind of confused about it the house is called Foxhound or something like that which is supposed to be some sort of like really pretty like purple flower that's like super poisonous I mentioned early on when they first buy the house somewhere in between like here. Scott is all like, so you're trying to bring my wife flowers and he's all like, these are the foxhound. I think that's what they're, that they're called is foxhound. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. This house is somewhere in Napa Valley. You know, rich people stuff. So he mentions it to him in a kind of like really almost threatening voice. Okay. So he had mentioned in the beginning that they're very dangerous. He now has the flowers. It's all like, I haven't seen these in a long time. But he had them, so instead of just saying, I saw them, no, he picked them. So he had the flowers in his hand, and that's it. You never hear anything about these flowers again. They don't bring them up. I was very confused at the end, because I'm like, okay, so what was the point of that scene? Because mentioned in the beginning, and now he's here saying it, well, has them in hand, like, in a threatening way. I mean, I think that most people, I mean, I thought it would think that he's going to use this to try to basically poison kill Scott whatever way he can do it. I don't, I'm just saying. I don't see what the point was of bringing it up again if you weren't going to use it. The husband would warn her a bunch of times to stay away, stay away, and yet she kept inviting him at the house, kept inviting him at the house. Finally, until she realized, yep, it's, he's the bad guy. Like Maybe like the last 20 minutes, which is where... She ends up finding out that he's living underneath the house because he had came into the house and I think he just left through the front door. And so he didn't close the linen closet right. So he, that's how she ended up basically falling in there and then was trying to see where that led to and saw him through the outside. He saw her, He she came back running in and you know that's kind of where everything kind of goes up the little peak in the final act that goes up and ending the ending i am not mad at that ending a lot of people may be mad at the ending because i've never seen the sopranos but i've heard about the ending about him just turning off the light and then it fades to black if i'm incorrect let me know i do apologize for soprano fans that is on my list to watch That's basically how the movie ends he says a little line does something and it fades basically to black if you really like fatal attraction type of films then you'll probably enjoy this do i recommend this movie not really i i really don't think it's really worth going to spend your money at the movies for it i didn't really go into this movie really expecting like greatness i i really did it so i guess like i I may be acting more disappointed than what I really am. At the end of the day, I got what I thought I was going to get, if that makes sense. Okay, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And that is it for now. Until next time, I'll see you at concessions. Bye.